First problem, first textbook, first video. I'm just gonna read it out right here. Problem statement is in the description if you wanna see it. 1.1, starting with the definition of one inch is equal to, one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Find out the number of kilometers in 1.6 miles. I'm gonna do 1.6 and B, the B in 1.90 kilometers. 1.90 kilometers, how many feet? So if you can't tell, this is basically a dimensional analysis problem. If you don't know what that is, then just uh, follow along and I will guide you along through it. So essentially what we're gonna start, start out with is the dimension that we already have. That we uh, have right here to begin with and then end with the dimension that we're going to get to. So what we have right here is 160 miles and then we're going to multiply that by a proportion a ratio um, but we can't just go from miles all the way to kilometers like that. Um, I mean we could if we had the numbers but obviously it wants us to use this uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have given it in the problem statement. So what I'm going to do is we're going to probably bring in another uh, ratio between two units. And that is going to be 1760 yards in one mile. Don't know how I remember that, but uh, I don't know. sounds like a really important year, so we'll use that. We're gonna have right here one mile, and why don't I put this in the bottom here? Because what is something divided by itself? Well, it's one. So these are gonna cancel out. The units are gonna cancel out algebraically. If we have a whatever variable divided by a, we're gonna get one. So same thing happens for these units right here. And what are we gonna put up here? 1760 yards. So say we have A divided by B over A, we're going to get just B because these are going to cancel out. So you can kind of get the uh, idea of dimensional analysis from that, and we just keep on doing that all the way till we get to kilometers. So how many feet are in yard? So uh, three feet is equal to one yard. Everyone who's been to American public education probably knows that. Some foreigners probably don't know that, but uh, yeah, I've known that for quite a while. Pretty easy to remember if you don't know it. So we got one yard. We want that to cancel out with that. Put three feet right there. And then what we are going to do next, what can we do to get inches? Well, there's going to be 12 inches in one foot. So we'll just go right here, one foot, because we want that to cancel out, the 12 inches right there. And then from that, we can go straight to centimeters, one inch. One inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. So now that we got that, how many centimeters are in a kilometer? Well, that's pretty easy because this is the metric system. So uh, we basically know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. And then pretend I had more room and I just kept writing it right here times uh, 1,000 meters in one Kilometer. And that will basically, when we put that into our calculator, give us what we so needed for our homework. So I'm just going to put 1.60 times uh, 760 divided by 1 times 3 divided by 1. Uh, some people often like to just like leave out the 
divided by ones times ones or whatever because like what difference does that make so that's what I'm just gonna keep on doing right here so divided by one blah 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 12 times 2.54 because like especially when you're on a test definitely want to be doing this quickly divided by 100 the correct answer is 25.7 or nine, five. So we're just gonna kind of round that up. We got three significant figures right there. What did I write? 25.7? Yeah, 25. So I don't know. I don't know why I wrote that right there. 25.7. And we're gonna keep that at a seven because, yeah, the other one is a four, so yeah. So yeah, as you can see, this uh, this cancels out with this, this cancels out with this, this cancels out with this, this cancels out with this. We just keep on going on and on until we get kilometers at the really very end. Very end, don't know why I said really in there. And that's our unit. So part A is soft board. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to find part B how many kilometers, or how many feet are in one kilometer. So let's start right here by writing out our unit. 1.90 kilometers. Multiply that by, what are we gonna use right here? We're gonna use one kilometer, how many meters are in a kilometer? It's gonna be 1,000 meters times, how many centimeters are in a meter? 100, no, I'm sorry, doing that myself, one meter is in 100 centimeters. Now, from that, we can use what they've given us in the problem statement. It's going to be one inch in 2.54 centimeters. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go from inches to feet, 12 inches and a foot right here. And that is going to be basically equal to whatever number comes out of my calculator because I would not want to do that in my head. Times 1,000 times 100 divided by 2.54 divided by 12. And what we get is this number right here, 6233.5958 feet, and obviously we have three significant figures right there, so uh, we'll just round this up to that, not kilometers, feet. So, now you know how to solve basic dimensional analysis problem. I expect that in the future we're going to be getting a lot harder questions. Um, definitely stay tuned if you have any questions specifically, then uh, leave it down in the comment below and I'll try and make a video about it. But uh, maybe, yeah, maybe we can uh, find some harder ones. I, I have a few textbooks that have some pretty hardcore dimensional analysis problems we could definitely look through uh, a lot of the, uh, I don't know, more advanced ideas and I guess theories behind numbers and dimensions and all that. But uh, for now, that's just this question. Thanks for watching.